Hey guys, Pastor Jack, I have a scripture I'd like to share with you that you want, might want to think about today. It is out of the book of Daniel in chapter 6, verse 3, where it says, Then this Daniel distinguished himself above all of the governors and satraps because of the excellent spirit that was within him. And the king gave thought to setting him over the entire realm. If you've ever read the book of Daniel, I'm sure that you're aware that Daniel, by this time in chapter 6, is almost 90 years old. He has been serving as a captive, really, as a young man for over 70 years in the Babylonian government. And now he is still in that place of service uh, when the Lord allows the overthrow of the Babylonians by the Medo-Persian Empire. Daniel survived. <laughs> the very Babylonian government did not. And so Daniel's walk with the Lord, his character, his reputation allowed him to leave a good impression, even with a, a coming, conquering king and kingdom. And the Lord would use Daniel, even in the lives of this new uh, Medo-Persian king, as God positioned uh, Daniel in a position where he could help with the sending home, if you will, of the children of Israel from captivity. I know that in our culture today, it is very difficult to, to be a good witness. I'm sure sometimes we feel we're outnumbered and we're up against it and there's really no way that we can accomplish much. But Daniel's certainly a guy that, that screams no way. That's true. Your, your walk with the Lord, your, your constant uh, honesty and, and faithfulness and prayerfulness and, and commitment to the God that you serve will have a great influence in those around you who may not at all believe. Certainly uh, Nebuchadnezzar didn't, and yet Daniel in chapter 4 uh, was given the privilege of leading this very wicked king into a relationship with Almighty God. And, and it didn't stop there. In, in chapter 6, again, this new emerging kingdom, Darius and all, would find that the God of Daniel was the only God that they should serve. So I wouldn't give up so quickly on whether you think you're having much of an influence. God has a way of using your life, even when it doesn't show. And I would think for Daniel, 70 years an awful long time to be in a place that you really didn't even choose for yourself. You were taken there, and that's where God used you. So, look, God's still interested in changing lives. He has chosen to work through his church. <laughs> may not seem like the best choice to us, but it's his choice. And so God wants to use your life. So, so be alive. Walk with God. Show who he is by the way that you live. Pray lots. <laughs> Share when you're able. And, and be bold as God gives you confidence and like Daniel, you might very well touch two generations. Lord bless you today. Hi guys, this is Pastor Jack Abiel. I'm so glad that you joined us on our YouTube channel. Would you click subscribe and like and leave a comment and join us as a family as we seek to honor our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you guys.